The Nag Hammadi Library, discovered in Egypt in 1945, is a collection of ancient texts that offer profound insights into early Christian beliefs and Gnostic thought. The texts, composed in Coptic, contain diverse writings attributed to various authors, their origins spanning the first few centuries of the Common Era. These codices, hidden for centuries, shed light on alternative perspectives within the early Christian movement, challenging orthodox teachings prevalent in mainstream Christianity. One notable aspect of the Nag Hammadi Library is its portrayal of Gnosticism. Gnostic beliefs, evident in several texts, emphasize the pursuit of hidden knowledge, gnosis, for spiritual enlightenment and salvation. The library contains treatises, dialogues, and apocalyptic writings, each presenting distinct cosmological and theological viewpoints. The Gospel of Thomas, for instance, consists of sayings attributed to Jesus, emphasizing inner understanding and enlightenment. This focus on personal revelation and knowledge contrasts sharply with the emphasis on faith found in canonical Christian texts. Moreover, the library features texts like the Gospel of Philip, which highlights the role of spiritual union and the divine feminine. Here, the concept of the divine emanation and the significance of Sophia, the feminine aspect of God, challenge traditional Christian patriarchal structures. This departure from mainstream Christian teachings underscores the diversity of beliefs and interpretations within early Christian communities. The Nag Hammadi texts also offer insight into the nature of divinity and the universe. The Secret Book of John, for instance, presents a complex cosmogony, detailing the emanation of divine beings and the creation of the material world. This cosmological narrative diverges significantly from the Genesis account in the Bible, offering a different perspective on the origins of the universe and humanity. Furthermore, these texts often grapple with the problem of evil and the human condition. The hypostasis of the Archons, for instance, explores the idea of cosmic forces that hinder spiritual awakening, portraying the struggle between the divine and the material world. This portrayal of the human predicament within a cosmic context reflects the Gnostic emphasis on transcending the limitations of the material realm to attain spiritual liberation. The significance of the Nag Hammadi Library lies not only in its theological diversity but also in its potential influence on early Christianity. While not included in the canonical New Testament, these texts provide valuable insights into the varied beliefs and debates within the early Christian communities. They challenge conventional notions of orthodoxy and illustrate the complex and dynamic nature of religious thought during the formative years of Christianity. In conclusion, the Nag Hammadi Library stands as a testament to the rich diversity of early Christian thought and the complexity of religious beliefs during that era. Its Gnostic texts offer alternative perspectives on spirituality, cosmology, and the human condition, presenting a compelling challenge to the prevailing orthodoxies of the time. Despite their exclusion from the New Testament, these texts continue to intrigue scholars and spiritual seekers, offering a glimpse into the multifaceted landscape of early Christian theology and philosophy.